Hello, this is a video showing you how to put a name inside of an Easter egg using the Canvas Works um, space for Brothers Scan and Cut. Um, I'm getting ready to make some cards for my granddaughters, and one of them is named Amia, and I decided that I was going to put her name in an Easter egg. So I have an SVG file already on my computer that I decided to use. Um, if you needed to, you could probably go look on the internet for one or go find um, an image and create um, a cutting file from that. But this is already a cutting file that I have right here. So I have my egg, and I think what I'm going to do is enlarge it just so you can see it better um, as I'm doing this process. So I'm going to go over here and go to text. And I think I'm going to play with this one here. It may or may not work. And her name is Mia. Oh. I have to double click on it. Oh. Let's try that again. Okay, there's a Mia. And I can get rid of that now. And I'm going to bring this in. And if you notice, I didn't make this egg horizontal. I tried to put it in a, in a position that it would sit inside of the basket. But it's up to you however you want to make yours. I think what I'm going to do is add color to Amia too. Here's one that I made with my own name in a heart just to give you an idea what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go up here and get color. And I think we'll make it hot pink just for something to be able to see. I probably should do the outline the same color. Okay. Because she loves hot pink. Actually, she likes blue. I should make the egg blue. But I'm going to enlarge this pretty much like that and just kind of center it. Now I'm going to right click on the name. And I'm going to hit um, divide. Let's stop and think. Okay, so now each one of these should be independent of the other. But for the I, I'm going to click on the dot, the shift key, and the I itself. Right click, and I am going to group those. I want those to stay together. So now all I need to do is click on each one of these, and I'm going to extend them just slightly off of the page. In fact, you know what, I'm going to go back and oh, I didn't want to group them all together. I'm trying to get used to this program. Click on the A, Shift M, Shift I, Shift A. And I think what I want to do I thought I could do it this way, and I can't. I guess I need to group them first. Um, I want to bring them in slightly. I think I have them out too far. I just want them barely overlapping the egg, which will change. But for now, that's what I need. So now I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to ungroup. Okay, so now I'm going to take my A, and I'm going to... Uh, Try that again. I'm going to stretch it and stretch it down. Here, I got more of it in that way. Do the same thing with my M. Stretch it up and stretch it down. Same with the I. Stretch it up. And some names work better than others, I'll be very honest with you. I'm not even sure I'm going to like this, but this is the only way to find out. Stretch it up and stretch her down. Okay, so that's Amia's name, which I'm not crazy about, but it's what I have to work with right now. So we'll give it a shot. I'm going to grab all of these together. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit subtract. Okay, so there's Amia's name. And you know what? I completely left out a step that I was supposed to do. And it's probably a good thing because that way you can see my mistakes. And I want to keep that one the way that it is. What I need to do is grab the egg. See if I can grab the egg. 
There, I got the egg. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, edit, copy, edit. Making sure I'm hitting the right one. Paste. I need an extra one. Okay, so I'm going to pull that off. Now I'm going to come over here and gather all these. Right click and um, subtract. And now I have this egg here. What I need to do is make an offset line. So I'm going to go to edit. I think this is where I do it at. Maybe I don't. Let me see. Edit again. No, I guess not. Um, I'm still holding this top of myself. Let's try it this way. Huh. Oh, no, there's a place to make an offset line. Where are you hiding at? I don't know. I did this with the other one, and do you think I can do it now? Oh, no, it's this one here, I think. Yeah, create offset. Okay, I think I'm going to make it about 0.25. It's 0.24. That's close enough. And hit OK. OK. So this is the offset. This is the original. Get rid of the original. Now I'm going to change the offset to a different color. Make it black. OK. Then I'm going to bring that in here and I'm going to send it to the back and kind of line it up with the other one until I get it the way I want. There's probably a better way of doing this. And now that I have all these together again, I'm going to make another copy of the offset. See if I can do it here. Yeah, I can. Copy. Paste. I'll put that to the side. And again, I'm going to grab these now because if I leave it the way that it is now, these are all individual pieces. If I take this off of here, they're individual pieces, which will be a pain to cut out. So what I'm going to do is grab all these together and I am going to subtract again. Okay, so now what I have if I pull this off, you can see it's just like all one piece. So now I can make this whatever color I want. And again, like I said, she she likes blue, so I'll do the blue. And do the line color blue. And now I can bring this in. And that will go on top of that. And you can make the background whatever color you want. Maybe I'll change the color of that. Oh, I did the wrong way. I need to come up here. Um, let's see. Blue on top of like maybe a dark purple. Yeah, I think that will work. And I'm going to do the dark purple. And there you go. And that's her name inside of the egg. And, of course, now I can just cut them out separately. But for our purposes here, I don't know why this is coming up with the properties box because I didn't ask for any of that. Um, I just want to group them together. And then you can make this whatever shape, I mean, whatever size you want. And then, you know, that way it will sit inside the basket, however. And I did the same exact thing with my name. I had gone over here to the um, the basics. And I scrolled down. And where was the heart at? I passed it up. I grabbed the first heart. And I made it really big. Let me get the egg out of the way. And this time I'm going to remember to make a copy. <laughs> copy. Paste. And put that off to one side so that we'll have the same exact size. And went to text. And maybe I'll pick a different um, type of text this time. Uh, which one should I choose? Is that the one I, yeah, I'll do this one here. That was a different one. Okay, so I'll double click in there. And I'll do my other granddaughter. And her name is Ayana, but they call her Yaya. 
Okay. So bring this in here. And I'm going to widen it this way. And bring the height up. And the height down. Not too much. Just enough to kind of get an idea of where I'm going to want things. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to right click, divide. And this doesn't have an I. So before, remember with the I, you had to um, hold the shift key and hold the dot and the I and group them together. I don't have that problem with this one. So now I can just individually lift it up. And it's pretty much where I need it to be there. Take the A, lift the A up, and bring it down. And the Y is already pretty much at the height that I need it, but I think I'm going to bring it up. And these are things you can play with. I mean, you can do it several times until you get the look that you want. Okay, we'll see how that works. May or may not like it. We'll grab them all together. Right click, subtract. Okay, now I have this one here. And let's see if I remember how to do this now. I'm going to go up. Here was it? Nope, wrong one again. I keep doing that myself. I'm learning. Come over here with the offset. And I'm going to make it about 25. There we go, it's 24. Okay, so I need the outer one. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to bring that here. And I think this time I'll change the black. And I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I do this every time to myself. But I'm learning. Okay, so what I'm trying to do, I, I need to get rid of this and give this a color first. Okay. And come here and let's see what color do we want to make this one? Uh, make, I like green, so I'll choose green. And then come back here, and grab this one, and we'll make this one black. And now we'll bring this in, and I have to send it to the back. Send it to the back. <laughs> ah, live and learn. Hmm. How do I do this? I could think if they both came together here, I'd be able to send one to the back. Maybe I have to grab it all. I don't know. I need to be able to see what I'm doing now. So I guess I'm going to make this clear again. Just so I can see. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, so and I'm, it's good that you're seeing me do this too. So that you don't, if you make the same mistakes, you'll know what you're doing wrong. So I have that. I'm going to get, I'm going to have that. I'm going to right click on that. Copy. Paste. Okay. This one here I'm going to get rid of. This one I'm going to put to the side. Now I'm going to grab these. I don't know what that little piece there is. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm still learning. It might be just a mark on my screen. I'm not sure. And I'm going to subtract. And that didn't work that time. So let's go back. And I think this does need to be a color, but it needs to be in the back. Oh, there it is. Okay, send to back. Okay, I don't know why it worked that time and not the other time. Okay, now subtract. Okay, there we go. With this one here, I'm going to make it black. And this one, I'm going to make it green. And there we go. 
And so you can just layer, I'm using my arrow key to get it. And you can layer one on top of the other. But basically, that's how I put names in the center of things. I have another program that I learned how to do this on, so I kind of had to adapt it to this program. But I hope you have fun with this. Have a great day. Bye.